children it is a solution of the state level preparatory exam 2022 mathematics question paper conducted by karnataka secondary education examination board first let us solve the multiple choice questions first question a pair of linear equations a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals 0 in two variables have unique solution then correct relation among the following is children you know that if a pair of linear equation is having unique solution then the correct relation you can have that is the option c a1 by a2 is not equals to b1 by b2 what is that a1 by a2 is not equals to b1 by b2 then only you can say that a pair of linear equations is having a unique solution, only one solution. And here the options are a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2. It is not a correct relation. And if a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 is equals to c1 by c2. And in this case, a pair of linear equation is having many solutions, infinitely many solutions. If you come to this solution, if a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 is not equals to c1 by c2, then there is no solution for the pair of linear equation. So, what is the answer? Answer is option C. So, you write the answer. Option C, a1 by a2 is not equals to b1 by b2 next you take the second question the formula to find the sum of first n terms of positive odd numbers sum of first n positive odd numbers here odd numbers means you know 1 3 5 so on and a is 1 d becomes 3 minus 1 which is equals to 2. So, if you use the formula Sn equals n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d or then it is n by 2 into 2a means 2 into 1 plus n minus 1 into d is 2 that is n by 2 into 2 plus the product of n minus 1 and 2 is 2n minus 2 is 2 and this 2 cancels. So, you can have n by 2 into 2n which is n into n, n square. So, you can have the answer. What is the answer? Answer is Sn equals n square. Answer is Sn equals n square. So, here you take the answer. Answer is option D. Sn equals n square. Sn equals n square. Next you take the third question. The quality equation in the following is. Quality equation is having second degree variable. It must be in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. Here first one is can verify that it is called the equation. This is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. It is a linear equation and it is a quadratic polynomial. In this equation, highest power of the variable is 3. So, it is a cubic equation. It is not a quality equation. So, what is the answer here? Answer is x square minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Option A. Right, x square minus 3x plus 2 equals 0 is a quality equation. Next, you take the fourth question. If a equals 30, then the value of sin 2a is. Then the value of sin 2a is. So, here sin 2a means sin 2 into 30 degree which is equals to sin 60 degree. What is the value of sin 60 degree? Sin 60 degree is root 3 by 2. Root 3 by 2. So, what is the answer here? 
option b is the answer option b is the answer so you take that answer b root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 is the answer next you take the distance of the coordinates 3 4 from x axis distance of the coordinates 3 4 from x axis if you take the point 0 1 2 3 here 1 2 3 4 and the point 3 4 comes here 3 4 and here 3 and it is 4 now distance of the point from the x axis from the x axis means from this the distance is 4 so y call, y value becomes the distance of the point from the x axis and x value becomes the distance of the point from the y axis so here what is the answer answer is 4 units answer is 4 units so you write option b 4 units then you take next question the coordinates of the point of intersection of less than and more than types of ogive gives that is already studied that it gives median the point of intersection of less than type and more than type ogive gives median so option d is the answer next seventh question what is the seventh question triangle ad is similar to triangle abc if ad equals 1 centimeter ab equals 2 centimeter then the area of the triangle abc is to area of the triangle ade here if you take ad ad is here and ab is here so the ratio of the sides are 2 is to 1 because if ad is similar to abc means here the first word what is given triangle abc is given so you must take the side ab so it is 2 is to 1 and their area the ratio of this area becomes 2 square is to 1 square that is 4 is to 1 so then what is the answer option a option a is the answer you take a 4 is to 1 Next, you take the question number 8. The formula to find the lateral surface area of a frustum of cone whose circular ends having radii R1 and R2 and slant height is L units. So, you must know the formula to find the lateral surface area of the frustum of cone if the slant height L is given and the radii of the circular base are given that is pi into r1 plus r2 into l so what is the answer option c is the answer so you write the answer option c pi into r1 plus r2 into l units that is the direct question next ninth question is write the number of solutions that the pair of linear equations a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals 0 and a1x plus b1y plus c2 equals 0 have c1 is not equals to c2 here you observe that a1 is there a1 is there b1 is there b1 is there so you can have a1 by a1 equals b1 by b1 and that is equals to that is not equals to c1 by c2 as c1 is not equals to c2 here you will get the ratio 1 this is also 1 but this is not equals to 1 therefore here what you can say this relation is there 
in their coefficients so you can consider that number of solutions becomes zero no solution no solutions means zero solutions number of solutions zero then next the 17th term of ap exceeds its 10th term by 7 write the common difference of this ap write the common difference of this ap here it is given that 817 a 17 means a plus 16d equals it exceeds 10th term by 7 means a 10 plus 7 that is a plus 9d plus 7 a a cancels if you transfer this 16 minus 16d minus 9d equals 7 which is equals to 7d equals 7 d equals 7 by 7 which is equals to 1 so here the answer is 1 next question sin a equals 3 by 4 write the value of cosec k you know that sin a and cosec k are reciprocals of each other so you can write cosec a equals reciprocal of sin a that is reciprocal of 3 by 4 reciprocal of 3 by 4 is 4 by 3 reciprocal of 3 by 4 is 4 by 3 so cosec a is equals to 4 by 3 next question a point p divides the line joining of points a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 in the ratio m1 is to m2 internally then write the coordinates you know that here we have to write the section formula we have to write the section formula then what is the section formula write that P of x y equals m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2 this is the section formula and the coordinates of the point P which joins the point A x1 y1 and B x2 y2 in the ratio m1 is to m2 internally. Then you take the next question state basic proportionality theorem. Children you know the statement of the basic proportionality theorem that is the Thales theorem. What is that statement? If a line is drawn parallel to a side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in the two distinct points then the line divides those two sides of the triangle in proportion if a line is drawn parallel to a side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in the two distinct points then the line divides the other two sides in the same ratio that is the statement of the Thales theorem basic proportion theorem then the next question if the diameter of a circle is 7 cm, then write the length of its semicircular arc. Here what is given? Radius, the diameter is given. Radius is nothing but half of the diameter. So you take R equals D by 2 which is equals to 7 by 2. Then the length of its semicircular arc length of the circle you know that is 2 pi r semicircle means pi r so you write length of length of semicircular arc arc equals half of the circle arc that is half of the circle half into 2 pi r and 
to two cancels which is pi r pi is 22 by 7 and r is 7 by 2 7 7 cancels 2 ones are 2 11 ones are so it is 11 centimeter or uh, also you can use by using the theta here theta is equals to 180 degree second method you can do here here it is a semicircle means theta equals you know that if you consider it is a circle then it is a semicircle and it is 180 degree if you take theta equals 180 degree again you can have the formula for the length of the arc of the circle that is you can use theta by 360 into 2 pi r theta is 180 degree by 360 into 2 pi r again you will get same relation here both are same that also you can use here this way by using any one of the method considering half of this length of the circle half of the length of the circumference of the circle or by using theta equals 180 degree also you can get the length of the semicircular arc then next question 15th question write the formula to find the surface area of the sphere you know the formula to find the surface area of the sphere surface area of sphere is equals to 4 pi r square this is the formula to find the surface area of the sphere next 16th question find the length of the side of a cube whose volume is 64 cm cube you know the formula for the volume that is volume of the cube is given 64 cm cube that is what that is v equals a cube equals 64 cm cube that is a cube equals you can take it is a cube of 4 4 cm whole cube therefore you can have a equals here 4 centimeter a equals 4 centimeter one method or other method you can do here that is a cube equals 64 cm cube and a equals cube root of 64 cm cube which is equals to 4 cm this also you can do and by using this method also it is possible to get the length of the side of the cube next question solve the pair of linear equations by elimination method here the equations are 2x plus y equals 14 and x minus y equals 4 and as we have to solve this equation by the method of elimination by elimination method here we have to eliminate any one of the variable here you check the variable which are having same coefficient here you can observe this y y is having the coefficient 1 plus 1 and minus 1 so as they are having same coefficient with a different sign you can add these two equation to cancel the variable y so consider this is first this is second then by first plus second to so take the first one 2x plus y LHS plus x minus y equals 14 plus 4. 2x plus y plus x minus y equals 14 plus 4. LHS plus LHS, RHS plus RHS. LHS plus LHS equals RHS plus RHS. Then you can cancel this to 2x plus x is 3x equals 14 plus 4 is 18 then x equals 16 by 3 you will get 6 next here you got the value of 6 and to find the value of y substitute this value of x in any one of the equation so by substituting x equals 6 in equation first you write the first equation 
टू एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल्स फोर्टीन देन टू इन टू एक्स टू एक्स मीन्स टू इन टू एक्स वट इज द वे वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज सिक्स सो इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स यू राइट सिक्स इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स यू राइट सिक्स टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई प्लस यू राइट वाई इक्वल्स फोर्टीन देन टू सिक्स सा ट्वेल्व प्लस वाई इक्वल्स फोर्टीन देन वाई इक्वल्स फोर्टीन माइनस ट्रांसफर दिस ट्वेल्व टू दी आर एच एस दैट बिकम्स फोर्टीन माइनस ट्वेल्व विच इज इक्वल्स टू टू सो यू गॉट वाई इक्वल्स टू सो विच आर दी वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई एक्स इक्वल सिक्स एंड वाई इक्वल्स टू इन दिस वे यू गॉट दी सोल्यूशन ऑफ द पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन बाय एलिमिनेटर एलिमिनेशन मेथड नेक्स्ट यू टेक द सेम क्वेश्चन और क्वेश्चन इज देर वॉट इज दट क्वेश्चन The difference between two positive numbers is twenty-six, and one number is three times the other. Represent the statement in the form of the pair of linear equation. What is that statement here? The difference between two positive numbers is twenty-six, and one number is three times the other. We have to represent this statement in the form of the pair of linear equations. So here, first one. Difference between two positive integers is twenty-six. So let us consider the two positive numbers. Two positive numbers are x and y. Let two positive numbers are x and y. You can take x is greater, y is smaller. Then the difference between them becomes x minus y equals twenty six, and one number is three times the other. Here we have taken x is greater, so x is three times the other number y. One relation is okay. Next one you can here. This can be expressed as that implies. X minus three y equals zero. So here, therefore, the two equations, two equations are x minus y equals twenty six, x minus three y equals zero. Here, one method you can use here. Or if you take y is greater, then it becomes y minus x equals twenty six and y equals three x. That is y minus x equals twenty six. Y minus three x equals zero. It becomes in the place of x you can take y also. Here if you take x is a greater, the equation becomes like this way. If y is greater means you will get y minus x equals twenty six and y minus three x equals zero. In this way, here take two numbers x and y and represent the given statement in the form of linear equations. In the form of pair of linear equations. Next question, eighteenth question. Find the fifteenth term of the arithmetic progression three, eight, thirteen, so on. Here, if you take the equation. Three, eight, thirteen, so on. To find the fifteenth term, we have to use the formula a n equals a plus n minus one into d. So a is required. This is a. So you write a equals three and d equals eight minus three. A two minus a one. Eight minus three is five, and n. n is here 15 we have to find the 15th term n equals 15 that is a n equals a 15 equals question mark now you write the formula for a n a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d a 15 is equals to a a value is 3 3 plus 3 plus in the place of n what we have to put put Fifteen n minus one means fifteen minus one d. What is the value of d? D is five. 
that equals 3 plus 15 minus 1 is 14 14 5 are 70 then you can write it is 73 a 15 equals 73 then you take the next one find the solution sum of first 20 terms of 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus so on using the formula here what you have to find out we have to find the sum of first 20 terms of 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus so on so you first find a here what is a a is the first term so you write a equals a equals 2 then d equals d equals 7 minus 2 equals 5 and n equals 20 so s equals question mark then you write the formula for s s equals n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d that n n is 20 20 by 2 into 2a means 2 into 2 a is 2 plus n is your n is 20 n minus 1 means 20 minus 1 into d d is 5 that equals 20 by 2 means 2 1s are 2 tens are 10 into 2 2s are 4 4 plus 20 minus 1 is 20 minus 1 is 19 19 fives are 19 fives are 95 that equals 10 into 95 plus 4 is 99 99 into 10 is 990 so you write 990 then the sum of first 20 terms is 990 you got the answer then you take the next one find the value of discriminant of the equation 3x square minus 5x plus 2 equals 0 and hence write the nature of the roots or question is that choice question what is that find for what value of k the equation k x square plus 6x plus 1 equals 0 has equal roots now you take the first one what is that the given quality equation is given quality equation is 3x square minus 5x plus 2 equals 0 so you write 3x square minus 5x plus 2 equals 0 write the values of a b and c a equals 3 b equals minus 5 c equals 2 write the discriminant part so which is the discriminant part of the quality equation ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 that is b square minus 4ac here we have to find the value of b square minus 4ac because b square minus 4ac is the discriminant of the quality equation ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 here you got the values of a b and c now you substitute the values of a b and c b square b square is minus 5 square raised minus as it is minus 4 also as it is you write a value a value is 3 4 ac means 4 into 3 into c c is 2 then that equals minus 5 square is 25 minus 4 3 is a 12 12 2 is a 24 so you got 1 which is greater than 0 here you got that b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 therefore what you can write the, about the nature of the roots as b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 roots are distinct 
and rear as b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 roots are real and distinct or distinct and real real and distinct the or question what is the or question for what value of k the equation k square plus 6x plus 1 equal 0 has equal roots now you write the given quality equation kx square plus 6x plus 1 equal 0 here what is given it has equal roots equal root means b square minus 4ac is equals to 0 now you write the values of a b and c a means the coefficient of x square that is k k b b is the coefficient of x 6 and c is the constant c is 1 then you write as roots are equal roots are equal b square minus 4ac is equals to 0 now you write the values of a b and c b b is 6 6 square minus 4 into a value is k k you write c is 1 1 equals 0 6 square is 36 minus 4k equals 0 so you transfer this minus 4k here we have to solve for k 36 equals 4k interchange lhs and rhs 4k equals 36 that also you can do or otherwise here you can write minus 4k equals transfer this 36 to the RHA that becomes minus 36 then k equals minus 36 by minus 4 transfer this minus 4 to the RHS to solve k then 4 ones are 4 nines are so here minus minus becomes plus so k value is how much 9 k value is 9 in this way you got the value of k next you take the question number 21 what is that question find the root of the quality equation 2x square plus x minus 4 equals 0 using formula you know the quality equation and quadratic formula here before writing the formula write the values of a and b b means the coefficient of x here the coefficient of x is 1 and constant that is c minus k so here a a is a coefficient of x square 2 you write next b b is a coefficient of x here plus x is that means that is nothing but 2x square plus 1x minus 4 equals 0 so you must write x means it is 1x so the value of b is 1 here value of b is 1 so you write b equals 1 even though there is no any number then you can consider it is 1 so it is 1x and value of b is value of b is 1 so here next you write c equals minus 4 then you write the quadratic formula that is the formula to find the solution of the quadratic equation or roots of the quadratic equation is x equals minus b plus or minus whole root write the formula correctly b square minus 4ac by 2a that equals minus you write minus only in the place of b you write 1 then you write plus or minus whole root b square is 1 square minus 4 you write 4 only a value is 2 c value is minus 4 
that divided by 2 into 2. 2a means 2 into 2. Then you write then you can write equal here x equals minus 1 plus or minus whole root 1 square is 1 1 square is 1 minus you write minus 4 to the 8 8 for the 32 but here minus into minus becomes plus plus 32 here yeah. minus 4 into 2 into 4 is 32 by 4 that equals minus 1 plus or minus whole root sum of 132 is 33 by 4 then you can write x equals minus 1 plus root 33 by 4 or x equals minus 1 minus root 33 by 4 that is the roots of the quality equation 2x square plus x minus 4 equals 0 so here x is there means 1x you must take b equals 1 then you take the next one in the figure find the value of sin p and tan r find the value of sin p and tan r know that sin p is equals to opposite side by hypotenuse for sin here p is here for p opposite side is 1 and hypotenuse is 2 so it is 1 by 2 and also for tan tan r r is here for tan opposite side by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side for r the opposite side is root 3 and adjacent side is 1 so it is root 3 by 1 d next you take the 23rd question find the distance between the two points 2 3 and 6 6 using formula here you take the given two points 2, 3, consider these are x1, y1 and x2, y2. You know the distance formula. What is the distance formula? Whole root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Then, here if you take the points are P, 2, 3 and Q, 6, 6. Here these are X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Then X2, X1 means 6 minus 2 whole square plus y2 minus y1 is 6 minus 3 whole square the distance you can write pq if you take that points are p and q that equals whole root 6 minus 2 is 4 4 square plus 6 minus 3 is 3 3 square which is equals to 4 square is 16 3 square is 9 equals square root of 25 which is equals to 5 units the distance between the two points 2 3 6 x is 5 units then the next question 24th question draw a line segment of length 8 centimeter divide it in the ratio 2 is to 3 
you know the method of construction in the first step you draw a line of 8 cm draw a line of 8 cm next at a point a construct acute angle here you draw a line a ray ax with acute angle at a point a then take convenient radius with the help of the compass with the convenient radius here the ratio is 2 plus 3 ratio is 2 plus ratio is 2 is to 3 so you take 2 plus 3 which is equals to 5 to divide a given line segment in the given ratio you must find the sum of the ratio here sum of the ratio is 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 is 5 so here you make 5 equal parts a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 With convenient radius mark 5 arcs which are at equidistant from each other then join this fifth part to the end point b end point b and here the ratio is 2 is to 3 after that you come to 2 second part is here you must draw a line parallel to this line at a point a2 you must draw a line parallel to a5b you know the method of drawing the parallel line so here you draw an arc like small arc also and with a2 as a center draw the arc after that find this distance from this point to this point this point to this point find the distance and with this uh, this point as a center cut this and join that point and ex extend up to meet the given line ab at a point here it meets at a point c so you got the line which is divided in the ratio 2 is to 3 2 is to 3 this is 2 part ac and this is 3 part so ac is 2 cb is 2 is to 3 so you can measure the length of ac and bc that completes one mass questions and two mass questions